today, and it's only for today, $33.33 for readings, okay, uh, on here on my live. If you would like to be put on the list, just let me know, and I'm going to come back and do this again. If you don't have time to do it right now, we'll do like a split it up, right, okay? First, we're going to do a collective reading, then we're going to hop into the $33.33 readings okay i just want to say thank you thank you thank you for all the love the support being here and here comes the rain okay all right y'all let's get it we're gonna burn some palo santo Beloved ancestral spirit, God, send us our God. I call Archangel Michael for protection. Anybody seeing anything physically, mentally, emotionally, or spiritually, please block or blind them. I call back our energy and send those back with full forgiveness in all forms to the universe at this time. Thank you, thank you, thank you to the most high God. Hey, hey, welcome back. As soon as I turn on the camera, here comes the rain. All right, y'all, the storm is hitting. What's up? Oh, look, and it's one, one, one. Okay. <laughs> What's going on, Rich? How you doing? And guys, if you don't want to purchase a reading and you just want to donate, that'd be amazing as well. Okay. Um, everything is down in the description box as far as my payment system goes. And yeah. Um, yeah. So let's hop in. Y'all hear the rain? It's so calming. Okay. All right, beloved, give me some messages here for the collective right now. Give me three cards out of this deck here. All right, somebody got a message of concern. Yeah, you know, Anna Marie, that's what they're talking about. Hey, babies. Okay, message of concern because somebody's not getting this gift. This house. Somebody, maybe somebody thought they was gonna be gifted a house, but they found out otherwise. Hmm. Hello, hello. All right, let's see what's going on with this energy. Child, I got cards flying everywhere. Eight of Pentacles, focus on work. Ace of Cups, Six of Pentacles. Somebody trying to keep you blind because they in this Seven of Pentacles energy. Seven, seven, there's a warning here because somebody's looking at other options here, okay? And while you're focused on work, I heard somebody looking for a way out of something. Unexpected visitor. Because they thought that they was going to be gifted this house. Okay, y'all, somebody may have to move out of a property that they stole in an inheritance or a will here. And they are getting this, this message of concern here that this is not your home. This is not your property. Something about this. I know that's right, Lisa. Jail, listen. And they don't like that kind of energy whenever you was blind and now you can see correctly. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yes, yeah, somebody wants somebody to be quiet too. Because see, yo, collective, it's like this. This could be your craft that you, this is your ace of cups, right? You're in love with what you do as far as your creativity, okay? And... You're helping others here. You're helping them heal, figuring out things. You're sharing your gift. You see how this woman's sitting here? And you're 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 prospering. But somebody's trying to keep people blind to what you do and say that maybe you're in this seven of pentacles energy and something about the, the seven of cups. Like you got all these options. Why do you, okay, yeah, why do you need this house whenever you got all these options? You got everything. So you didn't deserve this home here. Something about this. 
somebody definitely tried to play God in your life with this inheritance. And I'm here from some grandparents or a father figure. And this is us slapping them in the face. Because who are they to say what you deserve, collective? And see, that's the problem. Y'all, my first collective reading was the plan for you to bow down didn't work out. They tried to bring you to your knees and they couldn't. Tell me here about this message of concern here. That their little creative idea didn't work out. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Tell me about not receiving this gift in this house. Oh, okay. Ten of Pentacles, karmic family. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah. They got this message, baby. They left out in the cold. Yeah. There could have been a lawyer called and said, uh, this will that we have, this ain't correct. Bad investment. King of Pentacles in reverse. Now this person, it could be two women that's left out in the cold because they tried to, uh, I heard Dr. A's a will, some paperwork of some sort here. Hey, babies. Oh, okay. And then you got this new beginning here. And they're spying, gossiping, and watching. Because they could have told these people they didn't know where he was at, okay? And they're like, oh, well, they're not here, so I'm the next heir to something, okay? A lot of y'all going through this shit, too, and you ain't fighting with them. You could have showed your ass back up at the courthouse and said, hey, ho, ho, here I am. Some of y'all, they told them you was deceased, okay? Grand rising, babies. Yeah, seven of cups in reverse. Now they sick about this. They heartless ass over here trying to have some type of uh, strength here. Okay? Yeah. And somehow it's your fault because they go in there and they lied and was being deceiving. Didn't I say somebody was trying to trick the judge? And now they ass over here being tricked. Child, listen. Now somebody might get their ass arrested. Yeah. Nine of Pentacles. They can't let their fears go either. Because you're over here sitting and looking and you're like, you know what? I'm I'm working on my guard and I ain't even tripping. Like, what, what are you doing though? Being very, very sneaky. You know what I'm saying? Okay, look, you over here healing. They done made you the star of the show collective. Moving to calmer waters. This is somebody's mammy, okay? This queen of cups in reverse. This is somebody's mammy over here lying their ass off talking about some shit. They don't want something to end. I already know they watching. So we could have been a queen of cups, king of cups in reverse. They was trying to be sneaky and run off with this ace of cups, with this property, this home, some shit here. <coughs> Whew, somebody don't want me to say nothing, but, it's, but, but now your ass is locked in, okay? You ain't getting no victory. And somebody else is not carrying uh, no burdens for your ass either. They over here focused on their foundation. And this is their justice here. Because somebody's ass can't be sneaky no more. I would not tell y'all about going in there and lying to these people. Listen now. Then y'all go in there. Y'all make yourself look like an idiot. You know what I'm saying? What the judge say? Lock them up, bailiff. Lock them up. Somebody got court too. Look, adjudication in reverse. Good luck is not on your side. As I said, lock them up, baby. Uh, is, that the, is that the jail card? Yep. Uh-huh. Then you got despair here. Yeah, this could be somebody's ex-lover over here. His ass sitting in poverty. He don't know what to do. Okay. I heard got some bad news from the doctor. This person could already be in prison. You could get a call that somebody here passed on, okay, and, and was taken to the upper room here. Something about this, y'all. Listen, these people play way too many games. Man, the courthouse in reverse. He lost his case. They taking him to big boy jail. He going to be, and he, and he got bad health. He might be in the med unit at the damn jail or the prison. You're being protected from whoever this is, though, collective. I'm going to tell you something. Because this person right here, very sinister. They don't care. You know what I'm saying? And there could be a man on his deathbed over here giving his last wishes. And he about to put somebody out of a house, too. Look at this nurse here. She writing something down. 
this nurse could be taking down this man's last wishes and he's like, I want this to go over here and this and this and this, okay? And there's going to be some really upset people because they thought that they was going to, they thought this old man was going to bow down to them and he didn't. He changed up his will, his policy, his something, okay? He 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 flexed his, his free will on his deathbed child. Listen now. And now there's some people that's concerned. It never fails, does it, does it, Collective? Never fails. And y'all, this could have been in the past. This, uh, this old man could have put some things in place, and now he's haunting somebody. Because they didn't follow his wishes. They went against what this person said, and now this person is spiritually haunting somebody, okay? Because at this man's death here, they did not do what they were supposed to do here, okay? Because somebody got greedy and said, nah, I'm, I'm going to move in the house. I ain't going to worry about it. Uh, oh, excuse me. Mm. And now somebody is very concerned because it, it's some things... That ain't working like they thought it was. Because somebody working over here in the spiritual realm and changes shit up. <gasps> There's a hiccup in their plan. Okay, what's up? The star in reverse. They're trying to be an interference. This knight of cups in reverse. Now he trying to rush in and be like, oh, uh, I want to do this. I want to do that. And somebody's passed on elder here and saying, motherfucker, you didn't do what I told you to do when I was there. Y'all, somebody's in trouble with their own people, okay? They thought just because their body left, their spirit was left with them. No, they stayed right there in your house, okay? Yeah, they not playing with y'all. And y'all thought this was a game, yeah, tell me, high priestess, you could have warned some people too. Uh, you'll be actually the first one, love. I put you down. Yeah, Cash App or PayPal, baby. Y'all, somebody sitting in this chat mad as hell. I got cold chills too. Listen, it ain't our problem that you changed the wheel and that you was trying to be greedy, okay? And now this man or this, this elder here is chastising you now and haunting your ass, okay? Like, you can't be mad at nobody else but yourself because you done this to you. Now, I said what I said. See, y'all want to come to Tarot Land and be mad at us because y'all thieves and liars and manipulators. Y'all get mad whenever we speak on shit, but it is what it is. Like, I guess you're just going to stay mad. You need to change your behavior and go repent. Because the fact of the matter is, is what makes it so bad is they are stealing from these elders that worked all these years and all their life. Right? And they stole all this stuff from them after they had put this hard work in. And there is greedy members here saying, no, nah, that's mine. No, nah, uh -uh, this is mine. This is mine. No, it's not. You should respect what these elders wanted. But y'all thought because you changed something up or this happened or that happened. No, baby, that's not how this works. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all thought just because you lowered them in the ground or you done a cremation ceremony or whatever that their spirit wasn't here. They was watching you. You had strict instructions. Everything was written down for your ass and you lied. You lied. And you went and stole something. Okay, babies, I got you.
And then y'all think like it, it's cool or something. You know what I'm saying? When the other people that they knew what the wishes was and they was never followed, that's why they removed their self from you. Hey, hey, what's going on? Welcome, Wilson. But that's the thing is like, that's why people moved away from around you because they knew how important it was for you to go and follow this person's wishes. Whatever was written down, that's what you were supposed to do. And when they found out that you didn't, they moved away from you because they knew. That's instant karma that you was about to be smacked with. You may not have got it right then, but you're getting it now. Something about this, y'all. High Priestess, you know, too, there's some family members of yours. They ass being worked here. They being worked. They get they getting a the business right now. You like, okay, shit, I don't, I don't care about it. Like, listen now, even if I was supposed to get a house, a car, a piece of the business, something ain't working. It's in reverse. You knew their plan. Man, this could be a, a Virgo. Masculine that did something because I got the King of Pentacles in reverse. This is somebody that's greedy, they don't care. Taking a bit. Oh, child, this almost dropped the whole camera. My whole device, okay? This is a tower here because somebody didn't follow some, somebody's wishes here, okay? Mm. All right, now, see. Or somebody come up out of hermit mode. And they are shaking the table. Divine Femme, Divine Masculine, this could be your lover. He's about to find out that he got lots of money somewhere. And he didn't know. He had no clue because they was trying to hide it from somebody here. You know, we got a lot of people in the collective What's going on, boo? Uh, we have a lot of people in the collective that don't realize that you're multi-millionaires, billionaires. You got a business. You got homes. You got all kind of shit. And there is people just living in your shit right now, running these businesses and everything because they did not do what they were supposed to do. They lied. Because nine times out of ten, you know the elders pay attention to who's responsible in the family. Okay. So they will leave like that that family business to the ones that are responsible. They know it's gonna take care of things. But you know, you always got the, the, the group that's greedy and that that's no, you ain't getting nothing. And see, they're salty because now you got your ten of cups. With you and your person. You and your person's already building the empire. That's the thing. Is now they're sitting over here. Now they're trying to rip that apart. And that's the problem. It's like they can't ruin what's already built here. And they're still trying to hold on to what they stole from you. So it's like every single day. We, we got to figure out how we're going to rip that apart and we got to hold on to this over here. Chad, y'all putting out too much energy to try to hold to try to hold somebody down and back. Yeah, what the hell? When do y'all sleep? When do y'all eat? Because, child, listen, there's a change here. You about to be in sorrow. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I said what I said. You about to be in sorrow trying to juggle somebody and trying to do some shit. You possibly overindulging. And it's a completion of a cycle. Because y'all putting in a whole lot of work over here to keep something that was stolen and try to destroy what somebody else is building. You can't have it both ways. That's what I don't understand. You already stole their, their inheritance, the will, whatever was supposed to be left to them. And now you're trying to come over here and break this down too. I mean, when does it end? Y'all ain't got no damn peace. And you're not being successful at it. I heard whoever stole the family business is running it to the ground. Tower. You don't even know what you're doing is what I'm getting. Whoever stole the business from you collective, they don't even know what the fuck they're doing. They feel like a failure. And you're still sitting over here on top of your wheel of fortune and they can't end that. So they're like triple angry here because they don't know how to run the business and they're trying to do this and do that. And 
You're childish. Just trying to tell the story. I'm exhausted already. Yes. She just trying to tell the story. I'm over here like, what? You did who? Let's go eat a meal and talk about this. Listen, food makes everything better, okay? Let's go get some food because this shit here collective. Man, and they're still hiding it. Yeah, they're still hiding this shit. And it's like, what? Child, they over here living in luxury in your shit. Cruelty. I got cold chills. Look how dude's sitting there. He's sitting there on the couch and he's looking, stalking you and smiling. Like, oh yeah, it's funny. It's real funny. What what's funny? What is it so funny about what you did? Okay? Cause you finna have to pay all this shit back because the court's about to give somebody a check. You finna have to pay the courts back. They not finna play with you. And then some of y'all just going to get an orange suit. Y'all y'all done put the nails in the coffin here. Empress, you know it too. You done, you done got a message. You know somebody's fucked up. Their happiness is in reverse. They're in the Seven of Swords energy trying to be sneaky. Wealth in reverse. Like that's another thing too, Collective. Whatever they stole from you, now they broke. Now they got to explain what they're doing. Injustice. And it's like, well, you got some explaining to do. So I, I'm going to step over here and eat my snack and just watch how you're going to get yourself out of this mess here that you got into. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, okay. And I, like I said in the collective reading about the, somebody here, their enemies is about, about to make them bow down. Okay. I don't know. Somebody could have been dealing with some long sharks here. They could have went. Okay, let me tell y'all the story I'm getting. Somebody could have went. They knew you was getting this inheritance. They had everything set up to where you wasn't going to get anything. And they went to a long shark. Okay. But here's the plot twist. Some of y'all in the collective, you have a trust account. They couldn't get the money out. They only gave the long shark half the money because they got their piece of the inheritance. They couldn't touch yours. Now, they need to gain access to that account. Do y'all remember whenever I said somebody could not get access to the account? Okay. Now y'all wonder why they want to put y'all's ass in a mental hospital and put you on a check. Oh, they're crazy. Listen, I need to get them on the check. That You know, they're out of their mind. No, bitch, you out of your mind because you keep trying to go to the bank and pull my money out. Okay. Because, see, I'm telling you, somebody, granddaddy or daddy or mama or somebody knew they was dealing with a greedy thief here. And they went, and whenever they was on their deathbed, they changed something up here. I'm telling y'all. And now this greedy motherfucker over here working themselves to death, drinking themselves to death, trying to figure out how they going to put you in a situation. Okay. Confirmation. Go back to the where I was talking about stare clear of the family drama. This is this crazy motherfucker over here trying to stir up drama so they can trigger you all to get to that bank account. They need you in handcuffs. They need you in handcuffs. They need some kind of paperwork stating that your ass ain't mentally stable. Something ain't right with you and you're crazy than a motherfucker. Uh, yes, baby. Uh, if you'd like to, I'll go ahead and put you on my list. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, I'm going to come back in just a little while, too. Because, you know, after I do this, I'm going to have to go and eat some food and lay down and take a nap. And then I'm going to come back. See, y'all, that's what I'm saying. But they're over here. They're making it look like it's something like, y'all know the, the, the dramatic family members. Oh, I need you to come over here. And this is going on. And I, I can't get no help. And it, then you pull up and it's some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Before you know what you see in the back of the car, like, why am I in handcuffs? What the fuck just happened? Oh, okay. And this motherfucker over here creating a whole story about what the... 
And y'all, I'm telling you, pay attention now. They trying to get to this bank account. They trying to get to this bank account. Because somebody here going to be sitting real nicely when you find out about your trust. Let me just tell you. I heard you ain't going to have to worry about shit. Because that's how somebody's people had it set up. That's why they got a message of concern at the house. Could have been some certified mail. Somebody brought something. Something. They got it. The, the postman dropped something off. I heard somebody had to go to the post office and go sign for something. And there could have been a lawyer that came and brought a message of concern. Well, you know, I hope this works out for y'all. You know, while you're sitting in the federal penitentiary for changing documents and lying to the judge. And, you know, I hope all that worked out and you still ain't got access to the count. You know, y'all got to be feeling like some real fucking losers right now. And like, well, that, that plan didn't work. I don't know what we're going to do. Listen, y'all, we're, we're going to have to do something else. No, you need to go sit the fuck down somewhere. You need y'all need to be lawyering up. OK, I keep on telling y'all this, but y'all don't listen, though. Y'all be thinking the motherfuckers just be talking to be talking. OK. Because y'all all passed on loved ones over here dusting y'all's ass right now. Okay. But then y'all be mad at, at the collective because we be sitting here watching y'all walk into your own demise. You hit the court date. Okay. Well, guess what? The next court date, you got some explaining to do. It, it, it's that simple. Because eventually I'm going to get in there to see the judge. But that's the problem. You know, once I get in there to see the judge, your little narrative that you flipped around here ain't going to work out for you, right? That's what I'm saying. And y'all, this could have been in the past. Somebody drug your ass in the court. They lied. They tried to lock you out. They tried to do some shit. And somebody got their ass handed to them in court. And now they sitting over here, uh, you know, sucking their thumb, rocking in the corner. Okay, that's what you get. You really thought that you weren't going to take that L? You did. You did, and you're going to take another one for the next plane that you're starting. Because every time you try to do something, here come, here, here come some delays. This happens, that happens. Oh, that's not no coincidence. I hope y'all know that, right? Like, I'm just saying, just, you know, just a little FYI. I'm going to throw that out there to you. <laughs> okay, babies. I'll see you, uh, loyal Leo, in just a little while. Like, it's crazy. And that's why, like, the collective reading today, I was like, that does make sense. The plan to make you bow down just didn't work out. That's pretty much the narrative, though, and what it's been for years. Okay. Evans, let's get started. Yeah, their feelings is hurt. Now you're the problem, and you're this, and you're that. Man, shut the fuck up. I, I ain't got to do whatever. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I'm trying. Sarah, I got you, baby. I just seen your cash app come through. Um. Okay, what uh, you you said you me pull on love for you, baby. Girl, Jay, listen. Uh, we, I, I want you to behave yourself. They really thought they put on a magic show, didn't they? They was like, "Oh, we're here now. We're gone." No, no. what is it? Watch them feelings. 
<laughs> hey, you know, that's the that's what that's the, the shapeshifters. The shapeshifters think they have it all figured out, and you're like, no, you don't look rest and rejuvenate. You rest and rejuvenate and see that somebody's strategy is in reverse over here. Okay, whoever's coming toward you, this person has a huge heart, okay. And then April 4th could be significant. You could be getting communication from this person. Uh, and this person wants to take action. But he's trying to get his money right, whoever this masculine energy is. Or somebody in masculine energy. Have you and this man planned a vacation? Rich, I, I'm about to go give me some damn cookies, okay? Y'all, listen, I'm about to go give me a snack. Because this energy is making me hungry. <laughs> and all I've had is one cup of coffee and I'm drinking my water, okay? Listen, I need some damn snacks. Shit. Hey, babies. So that's why you're kind of in this standoff energy. Look at look at her. She's looking and she's like, I don't know. Man, Rich, every time you come on my live, your ass is eating. See, whoever he was dealing with, he could have been taking care of this person, okay? And this person is very, very angry. You know what I'm saying? But you're just sitting over here in this energy of, I ain't envious of nobody. I'm the thanking woman. I'm studying. I'm doing what I need to do. Um, you noticed some red flags. That's why you pulled your energy back. Yeah. I don't know why like your face looked like mine. There was something uh here. And you pulled back, you was like, nah. Look, all y'all eating food, y'all. I'm about to go attack the pantry real quick and I'm gonna come right back in a minute. Um yeah. And maybe it could have been over dinner because we're talking about food, right? <laughs> yes baby uh yeah i need to make a smoothie instead of eating damn snacks okay goddess of the moon are you you know what i ain't doing this with you today either you and rich can go sit in the corner together <laughs> uh but it's like maybe over dinner right there there was something here and you just kind of was like Okay, hold on. Let me let me just step back. You, you feel me, sis? Why I feel like you felt this bitch's energy on him? You felt this woman's energy on him. And you like, man, I don't know about this. I don't know. Like, you know what I'm saying? She maybe you had to go set yourself in the corner. And you was like, she, let me drink some water and think about what the fuck is going on here. Exactly. And I feel like. That kept you from making an impu impulsive move. When you wanted to say no, you you had to sit and think about it. Yep. All right, let's pull some tarot on this. Baby, the big judgment. You was like, mm -mm. no, you, you're not going to come over here and play with me like that. Look, the devil. The devil is always in the fucking details. And then you cause a tower because you said no. You pulled back. You got in this King of Swords energy. You was like, whoa, whoa, whoa hold on. Make it make sense. Because, you know, King of Swords is very logical. They, they need tangible proof, okay? Uh, excuse me.
Yeah. You was feeling attacked during this communication and what was going on. It's almost like it was, it made you triggered. There was triggered. There was something here that triggered you from the past where there was no balance here. And you made the right decision. You was like, no, I, I just got to block, delete is what Spear is saying with this energy here. I feel like you've saved yourself a lot of trouble, dear, by not entertaining this, this type of person here. Because they could have been dealing with this old witchy bitch over here, this Queen of Wands in reverse. Listen, you, th this bitch ain't shit. And they look like they felt like they didn't have no other option trying and possibly going to come in and play this and play that. No, you chose her. So go on and go sit with her. Tell me about this Queen of Wands in reverse. Period, poo. Because I'm the Empress. Fuck you talking about. But you chose a low vibrational Queen of Wands over here? This promiscuous, this is a promiscuous hoe. This is the, the the hot dog factory, okay? Like, she she's out here being promiscuous and all types of shit. Bitch, I'm the empress. I'm sitting up on my motherfucking throne. That's why, like, you know, people get offended whenever the Queen of Wands comes out in reverse and they're like, oh, it can't be a fire sign. It don't have to be a fire sign. But it's a hoe sign, okay? Listen, it's a hoe sign. The King of Wands upright. He got a hot dick. He out here... Passing it out. Call it for what it is. It don't have to be a, a, a Aries Leo Sag. It could be a damn Gemini Libra Aquarius in her whole energy. Who knows? It could be a Capricorn Taurus Virgo in her whole energy. That's why people need to learn how to watch tarot and learn about zodiac signs and shit like that. Any of the zodiac signs can be a hope. But guess what energy, energy they're going to be in? The Queen of Wands in reverse. That's just like a money hunger energy. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. The Liabetes energy. Queen of Swords in reverse. Cold and calculated. They all have a meaning, right? And sis, yeah, that's what you're doing right here. Yeah, that's the side chick card in reverse. She a heavy side of macaroni. Man, heavy side. Okay. These hoes, they, they are the hot dog factory. Look, and the king, the king of cups, he's loving that shit. And you over here and you're healing. But the king of cups wants the ho-ho. You know what I'm saying? Because she's going to bow down. She gonna, she's going to do what he says. And this ain't that type of energy that you in. You ain't bowing down to shit. This is that finesse. Or I don't give a fuck what you're going to lose, but you're going to take care of what I need you to take care of. That king of cups, don't, they're cutthroat, right? Because they don't have no emotions. As long as everything's okay for them... They don't give a fuck what they destroy for you. Yeah. And this is your justice walking away from these types of energies. Like, why do I feel like this King of Cups rushed in, knew he was dealing with the with the, with, the, with hot dog water here, okay? Uh, trying to get something from you. That's what I feel like. Like, he, he's coming over here and trying to get something from you, and you like, you got in this King of Swords energy on his ass. Like, whoa, ho, 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 hey, hey, listen, listen now. Uh, I read the fine print of this contract and I don't like this shit, okay? Because you walked in with your third eye open and there was that, that energy was way off and it was just dirty. I heard smell like hot feet and chitlins energy. Listen now. That you used to mix with the, the chitlin water. As I looked up, me and Jay get it, get out, get out of my head. Listen now, man. Yeah, them two energies, and that's the fucking truth. I'm telling you. That's why I'm saying, like y'all, some of these people, like this could be a whole Earth sign in the King of Cups energy. This could be a whole uh, Water sign in this Queen of Wands energy. In reverse. So every time you get you look at a reading, you're like, well, that's got to be a fire sign. It's got to be a water sign. It's got to be, no. Change your perspective. Something about this is, and you changed your perspective. That's why I'm explaining this, okay? You changed your, your 
Somebody mad in a motherfucker that I'm explaining this shit. They don't like that I'm telling y'all the secrets of tarot, okay? That's why it's hard to teach a tarot class because I can't teach you what these cards mean. It's about the meaning that I get, right? You get your own tarot deck, you won't get your own damn message. I can't tell. Yes, this is the King of Cups. But he's in reverse. There's multiple meanings to that. You know what I'm saying? It just depends on how we're reading it. And what the and what the story is. Because see, this to me, okay, another story, right? I don't know why I'm explaining all this to you, but this is the shit that you learn watching tarot, right? And this is what helped you move forward. Just stay with me, okay? But this King of Cups in reverse sometimes can be they cut emotions off from a motherfucker and got on the way. They didn't have no emotions for a situation anyways, because that's how they come in. But it was for their good, and they knew somebody was trying to fuck up their uh, their free will and whatever else they had going on. So they had to get in this reverse energy to move up out of a situation, right? That's in the, and, But see, this is how you're looking at things. Now, this, this could be his strategy right now. He could be an actor right now. Yeah. He could be he, he could be an actor right now. And he's like, you know what I'm saying? This Queen of Wands thinks she got everything in the bag and they doing this and they're doing that. But that's not the case, though. This person here really wants to come toward you. Okay. Let's uh let's pull. Mm. Let's say let's talk about this new one. Let me pull this energy off this board here. I'm gonna hit the bell. See, that's the beautiful thing about knowledge is power. Once you learn, yes, it gets a lot easier to not be confused. Beloved, tell me about this new person here. Because I'm going to tell you something, baby girl. You're too beautiful to sit here and settle for anything. You're young. You have plenty of time. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is not, don't, don't rush at something here, right? And I feel like that's kind of where you're at. Don't, don't rush this shit. Because the right one going to come in and love you correctly. Baby, let me tell you something. The love, gonna, the cup going to be overflowing so much. You're going to be like, damn, I can't even breathe. Okay? Because that's the kind of love that you're manifesting. The good stuff. Yeah. With that caring connection. And see, this person here is going to come in and off, off the muscle, they're going to let you know their intentions and they're going to take action. They're not going to hold back. I'm hearing two months, maybe six months, two to six months could be very significant. Door to spirit. Spirit's been guiding you and letting you know that somebody is coming through here. But then you got this tard over here, okay, that's working with the hot dog factory, coming over here trying to intervene. That's why y'all got to be careful with this Mercury retrograde type shit because if you and that you and a new person, y'all fixing to connect and y'all are doing something, you're going to have the past over here. They've been watching. They ain't stopped because they're psycho, right? I told y'all they're going to have to make a new diagnosis for these motherfuckers, okay? Because they can't let go. They can't take the L, right? And this person will try to rush back in. That's why you said that meeting wasn't right. That's what I'm saying. Tell me what's going on here with this Karen connection. Child, he putting the endings to things. He's but he's on top of his wheel of fortune. This might be some type of doctor, healer, works in the medical field that you're going to meet. Because this man, he's over here uh, doing some open heart surgery, okay? This man might be some type of doctor that you're going to meet. Hmm, very interesting. I like it. I like it a lot. Tell me about this man taking action.
Right. Child, this is a victory. He ready to rush in, okay? Child, he is the boss. He is the emperor, okay? Mm-hmm. That's why I'm saying, like, and y'all's, and you know what's so crazy? Normally, whenever you meet your divine counterpart, sis, the, what will happen is you and this person will kind of have a similar story. He could have dealt with a money-hungry, karmic-ass bitch. The only reason she married him because he was a doctor. Okay? Um... And that's the thing. And now he's over here literally having to split assets up. And he might even have to walk away from everything. But that's okay. Because he feels like he's getting a victory. Coming and taking action toward you. You know, I feel like you and this man, y'all going to go in business together. It just makes me feel really good. I love you guys too. I'm hearing you're going to possibly help this person sort their affairs out, okay? You might even help him open up his new doctor's office. He might go and have his own practice. And you might be like uh, his... His go-to person in the office. There's a lot of potential here on this board, though, and I really like it. Just don't let this this past person back in, okay, baby? But something about the medical field, maybe, you know, and that could be just y'all being healers together. You see what I'm saying? But something here. But I'm getting, like, a whole doctor healer vibe here. And there is, look, you got the emperor, the victory, okay, and death. Putting endings. And then you got the wheel of fortune. Child, you got some major arcanas out here. That, and, and it's like, okay, this is what we doing? Come on, boo. Let's do it then, right? Okay, that's what I'm saying. You're going to have to let me know, baby, what's going on because I really like this energy. This man could be tall, dark, and handsome. He could have brown eyes, brown hair. He might even be of another culture. This man is brilliant. He's a genius. He can have like the mustache, what I'm seeing. He's got like that, that sexy hair. You know what? I'm picking up on an Arabic man. That's what I'm picking up on, sis. This man could be Arabic, uh, something Haitian, Jamaican descent. Because he does have that accent. It's kind of thick. Is this the man that you've been that you've been manifesting over here, boo? And see, if he is one of them, uh, if he if he is like one of those, uh, uh, that's his his nationality or whatever. That's why he's like ending things. Man, I'm trying to tell you. But like their their culture is way different. You know what I'm saying? Like they're all about family. You know what I'm saying? So this man could possibly be walking away from his family because of certain belief systems. Uh, okay, well, I'm telling you, it's something coming here. You're going to have to let me know what's going on. I, now, look, I'm invested now, sis. <laughs> I want to know the juicy details. Yes, baby. Okay, Sarah, what's going on with you, babies? Hey, Kay, what's going on?
He gonna mess around and change your whole life, baby. Lisa, now. And it's like an unexplainable feeling when you finally meet somebody that is that understands your vision, that's on your level. They watch you. They don't try to stop you. You know what I'm saying? Like they try to jump in and help. And it's like the relationship just flows because you understand one another. You know what I'm saying? Really important. Mm. Whole time they've been uh, they've been listening and recording. Sarah, where you at, baby? Yes. All right, Sarah, I'll be right back, okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to the pantry real quick. It's okay. Trust me, you're going to recognize this one because his energy is going to be real strong. Mm-hmm. Very, very strong. You definitely ain't going to miss this opportunity. It's like... When you encounter a divine masculine's energy, it's very, very powerful. That's how I, I'm trying to figure out how some of these people don't know they're dealing with the karmic energy. Because when you encounter a true divine masculine, baby, he carries big D energy. Big, like, just like the divine feminine. Like, when y'all walk into the restaurant, all eyes turn and look on you. That's how you know. Because when you step in the room and you carry that type of energy, baby, listen now. It's a, it's something powerful. And I feel like whenever you encounter this man, that's what you're going to come back and say, Vision Goddess, I think I met him. Because <laughs> it's that energy. Rich, you know what I'm talking about. Act like you don't know. Hey, babies. Act like you don't know what I'm talking about. When a person carries that type of energy. Because it's way different than like FaceTiming somebody on the phone than actually being in their physical presence. Get Talk to somebody on, on the FaceTime, right? But being in their presence, oh, that energy's. I'm just saying, that energy's powerful. It's strong. Why do you think people like back off from us? Why do you think when you go in certain places, you start fucking with the electricity, the lights blinking on and off because your frequency's so high? And you you really on this journey. You see what I'm saying? Like it's a, it's just it's different. Like there's certain places I go and I, I'm like, I'm just you y'all remember how I told y'all went and tried to eat a steak? Y'all, I'm in everybody's business because I'm picking up on everybody's energy and I don't and I ain't trying to be. Like, I'm, I'm over here in the corner trying to just eat my steak and potato and my business, and I'm getting everybody's energy, and, you know, people are walking by and just looking, and, oh, okay, you know what I'm talking about. It's, it, it, Y'all, I didn't know for a long time that's why people would approach me, strangers, and they telling me their whole damn life story, and I'm like, listen, I'm trying to go. I got to go over here. Hey, babies. And, but they're sitting there telling me their whole life story. It's because they was attracted to my light. Uh, yes, we do. When me and me and uh, Goddess of the Moon, when we talk, yeah, the, the phone always goes hot. There's another client I got. Yeah, same thing. Uh, the, them damn iPhones will be trying to burn the side of their face. You know what I'm saying? But it's the energy we carry, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's why uh that's why I stick with the Android. Yeah, just lay on the bed for counseling. <laughs> yeah. And I've had, you know, 
some people come for readings, right? Hey, Tab, I have people come for readings, and that's what they say. Okay, so Tab will tell you she's met me in person, okay? It's big energy. Like, when it wasn't, when we, when we FaceTime, it wasn't the same. But when she met me in person, she could tell that that energy was strong. It was real strong. You know what I'm saying? And it's just different, y'all. Sometimes you don't know that your energy can control the weather, the electricity. That frequency can control so much. And it depends. And it depends. It depends on what type of um, placements that you have. Mm-hmm. Especially whenever you encounter like demonic energies. Oh, they try to get away from you. But the ones that are attracted to your light, they, that's how you know the ones that are, are ready to heal. Because they will step right into your energy and want to tell you everything about their whole life. Hey, babies, you, yeah, you've been gone for a minute, Nun. Mm-hmm. And y'all, look, look, Bay is starting to understand his big energy that he carries, right? <laughs> and, uh, like when we go out in public now, it's uh he'll he'll tell me he's like we can we can't be here. I, I'm ready to go. I'm you know what I'm saying? Because of the energy where he's then stepped out of that chaotic ass energy into peace. That's why I say when you find your peace, some of these people don't have no hope or chance of coming back into your life because you're not gonna deal with that chaotic that chaotic ass energy. And that's the thing. Because now you done set the standard higher and you're like, no, nah, I, I can't do. I mean, it's the headaches. It's like last night when we was in the live chat and we had the fire going. Y'all, he started feeling sick. He was like, I, I got to go lay down. Like, I feel sick as hell. I said, it's the energy. I said, where well, I've been doing this for so long. My, um, my system is immune to it. I'm immune to these uh, damn want to be hocus pocus, hocus pocus bitches. You know what I'm saying? They're they're little whatever they call this shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm immune to it now. What I got a little scratch. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know this happens that whatever. But I'm so immune to the energy. But y'all, he he was introduced to that live energy last night. Even with the fire, he was like, man, that shit was strong. I said, I told you. He's so that's why I said about these these masculines. They're learning. They're waking up. They're seeing how um, serious this is. Where they didn't understand before, now they're waking up. Yeah. And see, and that's the thing. Once these masculines step into their power, y'all, these karmics better watch out. That's all I'm saying. Like, it, it ain't going to be pretty. Because when once they snap out of this shit, no, it ain't going to be no Mr. Nice Guy anymore. It's not going to be any of that. They're not fixing to play around. Especially whenever they start figuring out how certain pieces of the puzzle was placed and, and shit like this. Oh, excuse me. Also, that's why we say something about uh, the sexual energy and sharing your sexual energy. That's where a lot of these masculines are starting to feel it in their sex life. They're encountering these low vibrational karmics that are out here and they the hot dog factory and they're like, I can't, I can't do this. You're making me sick. Because they're they're starting to smell and see and look at the nasty energies that are on these people. So they're uninterested. That's why these women that use their bodies and things like that 
and you six, why do you think they're so angry with the with the brilliant, genius, divine feminine? Because we don't have to use our bodies. Because people are attracted to our minds, to our ideas, to what we do, not what we can show them and how we can sleep with them. You see what I'm saying? Mm -mm. And that's some powerful shit. Yeah, it does. Thank you, babies. Ooh, I just got cold chills. Yeah, and that's why a lot of our collective has practiced celibacy. And nine times out of ten, your divine counterpart, he practiced celibacy. Hi, you're welcome, baby. We're going to do it again. We're going to do it again. Y'all, it's just raining like hell out there now. When I started this chat an hour ago, yeah, that's what it was doing. Uh, Tab, do you want a reading or is that just a donation, baby? I got you down though. Hey, you're welcome, baby. That's why I like, um, I like for y'all to come in here and sit because every day we're given a lesson of some sort, right? Spirit is giving me something that I need to teach about. And that's what's going on here. Everybody's like, oh, well, when are they coming? That You remember your lessons you had to learn. You see what I'm saying? And confirmation. So go back to like what you had to go through. That is what your masculine is going through right now. So his awakening is like super tough on him. You see what I'm saying? Or your divine counterpart, soulmate, twin flame, whatever. You can't rush something beautiful anyways. Sarah, where is your ass at? Yes. Shit. Oh, yeah, and it's definitely time to celebrate. That's why I say, you know, that's why I was talking about a couple of years ago, and I didn't really have an understanding. I just knew I got the message, right? But now that we're here at this stage of the game, it's like now I have a better understanding about why we need to have patience. You see what I'm saying? Yes. I told you you was going to. Look, and then my little thing fell off my third eye. Because collective, they want to rip your magical glasses off. But they don't understand. Once you have that awakening, you can't unsee the shit that you've seen. And, that, and it is what it is, right? Exactly. Okay, sorry about that, y'all. Okay. 
Hold on, y'all. I got to plug it in. guys thank you for your patience all right
Okay. Where is Miss Sarah at? All right, Tab, what you want me to pull on for you? Yep, you're right. Something weird is happening. Because we're uh, moving into this solar eclipse. Everything, you're feeling new energies. Things that no longer serve you is going to be scooted out of your life. And there's nothing that you could do. Okay. Yeah, get some coffee. Uh, go with the changes, collective, okay? Because, as a simple fact, it's going to help you elevate to help you move that old belief system on out the way. My, I got cold chills. Because that's what needs to be done in order for you to continue growing and healing. And we're already moving energy that we don't want. Last night with the bonfire. See what I'm saying? We moved that energy that we didn't want. We went ahead and purged that out with that fire. So that's why I said we're going to do another one on the on the, the solar eclipse. Write your release letters. Let it go. Anything that no longer serves you for whatever vision you have for your life, time to go. If it ain't elevating, it ain't helping you growing. It ain't helping you put you in your life purpose. It ain't got no business being there. Any kind of distraction, we ain't got you ain't got no business there, right? Very important. Okay. This is where people get stuck though, right? They get stuck in this. Well, I can't let that go. I can't let them go. I can't do this. Yeah, you can because spirit is moving these things and making this happen. This is the universe. This is the most high God doing this. Either you're going to go with the changes or you're going to get swept up into Karmic City, right? You could be moving in silence and not saying nothing, right? Because Metatron already showed you, spirit, already showed you about these hostile ass energies trying to hold on to these contracts, some false ass person here. And that's the only reason somebody's holding on to somebody for some kind of uh, benefits, money, something here. But the magic backfired or whatever they were trying to do. And now you're not all tied up. Now the world is your oyster. It's all about you. Being patient, woman holding the coin, working things out, showing appreciation. And taking that leap of faith and following what your gut is telling you. Because you're walking right out of a storm. If somebody in here got sugar diabetes, you need some sugar. You need some kind of sugar, okay? Because, like, I felt like my sugar was low. Like, I had to, I went and got a Yoo-Hoo. Somebody needs to go and uh, check their sugar. Look, stay on your journey. Stay on your journey, strategize the sun card because you're walking right into your ultimate happiness, working on your heart chakra, and not becoming the monster they wanted you to become. 
Because they wanted you to be just as mean and evil as them. <clears throat> you just let it go. You're not doing that. Tell me what's going on here. With the sun, the strategy. Now they're heartbroken. Cornucopia, milk, and honey is in reverse. And then there comes that new divine counterpart. After you let go of whatever this is. And it's trying to brush in with Mercury retrograde. Yep. Yep. Eight of Pentacles, focus on your creativity, child. Because you ain't blinded to your path and where you're supposed to go and what you're supposed to do. But you got to walk away from whatever is stopping you from your path. And y'all, I'm telling y'all, this, like I said, this is the hardest part of the journey. We've been talking about this for like three weeks now. This is the hardest part of the journey. Choosing to walk away from people, places, and things that you've always had in your life. How can I say this? Thank you, Spirit. The scariest decision that you make in your life is going to catapult you after you walk away. To something so beautiful. Yes, it's going to be scary. I ain't going to lie to you. It's going to be scary as hell. But you got to get in that Queen of Wands energy. Upright. That's you being adventurous. Being that King of Wands energy. Being that visionary leader. Right? This is two counterparts here. And this is what I feel like is going on right now. With the, with the collective, you got people in the Queen of Wands, King of Wands energy in the upright trying to really like have that, that um, confidence and moving forward and knowing what they want. Power. Taking your power back. Completing cycles and getting that King of Pentacles energy. Getting in that boss energy. And then here comes your Ten of Cups. After you don't lift all of this shit out in the cold, because you don't want you don't want to be in the third party, right? Don't nobody want none of that shit. Somebody's coming in with a message. Okay. Oh yeah, see, I feel better after I got a couple of crackers in me. See. They want you to stay in this Seven of Pentacles energy. They want they want you to feel like that you can't get to the nine. And this could have been in the past, right? You was in the Seven of Pentacles energy. You was building, working it up. Then you got in the eight, and now you're at the nine. Well, when that divine counterpart comes in, power couple energy, King of Wands, Queen of Wands, y'all come together, then there's your Ten of Pentacles, right? But you can't let other people's Fear seep into your plans. <clears throat> Gotta let it go, right? And that's the thing. They didn't want you to realize the power that you held just by walking away. Mm. And y'all, uh, just FYI, I'm, I'm eating animal crackers. Because these motherfuckers want to stay in the circus, okay? Five of swords in reverse. You said whatever. I'm putting my sword down. I ain't fighting with you. Because I know where I want to go. I, you can have your burdens back. Them is not mine. So now, that two of cups energy, that's what you're manifesting. Mm-hmm. Carrying that wisdom, both of y'all. You and your person carry so much wisdom, but you had to wake up to thyself and understand where you was giving your power away, what you was keeping in your life that was no longer serving you, okay? And this also could be you coming back into union with thyself as well and getting that wisdom saying, okay, now I figure out that I don't have to carry these burdens because this could be blocking your union as well, right? And you, you don't realize that you have been in your own way 
fighting what people places or things. This was stopping your movement, right? So you got to sit back and you got to look at like, hold on. Somebody is definitely watching you. They don't want their options. And they have no love for whatever they're dealing with here. Physically, mentally, emotionally, or spiritually. This could be somebody's very traditional. And they're looking at something and they're saying, hold up, okay, wait a minute. They're using their intuition. Like, yeah. Tell me about somebody being in this. This Queen of Cups energy, paying attention to this traditional shit that they was wrapped up in. Oppression. Because they realized this traditional type of lifestyle or whatever they was into, they couldn't be their true self. Now, they're exercising their free will. Fertility. Now, they're manifesting the good stuff. Because it's like, okay, that wasn't working. Change perspective. Look at things different. Oh, yeah, they was offering me stuff that I didn't want, right? There is a there is a part of the collective here. There is a group of y'all that literally saved your life by not taking a, a false cup here. As I said, that seven of swords in reverse come out. Hey, babies. I'm telling you, like, you did not take this false-ass cup. You sent somebody on their way because there was an illusion a sacrifice. They was just watching and waiting for the right time to rush in. And you shut somebody down and there's that king of cups in reverse energy. I'm telling you. Whoever this person is, they already knew what they was going to do. But you put some type of plan in action. Okay. Tell me about this king of cups in reverse. They didn't know they was coming up against a, a wounded warrior. Ten of swords in reverse. You spiritually outsmarted somebody. Okay? And somebody didn't, didn't realize that spiritually you was already told that they was coming. You knew what was going to happen here. Because somebody's in this five of pentacles energy. They trying to come from out of the cold for this great fortune. Yes, that's really good. Fasting is going to be real good for this uh, this solar eclipse as well. See, you didn't fall for the temptation, like I said. And some of you guys didn't even realize you was being tested, but you was just, you chose yourself. I'm going to stay on my journey. I don't want that. And it's all about what type of work are you willing to put in to, for that new life that you want. Because that new life is going to cost you people, places, and things. And it is what it is, right? Look at the sun come through when I said that. But God is trying to catapult you over here. But they're trying to keep you and stay attached to the healer so they can keep sucking your energy and keeping you stuck to whatever karmic shit they got going on. Because y'all, I've been saying, right? You've got some people that try to stay stuck to your energy because they've been manifesting and living off of your energy this whole time. You sitting over here, you're like, man, why do I... Ever since I cut you off, I feel better. And, that, and you know, you're my 
friend, you're my lover, you're my family member, you're my coworker. I work for I work for you for 20 years or I work with you for 20 years. Now all of a sudden I'm over here doing my own thing and I'm thriving. Like, why? Why is it that this is different? What's going because you're starting to understand energy vampires. They were sucking your energy to build what they wanted. But you're still staying stuck and you're seeing somebody over here. Hell, they buying houses and cars and building their own business. But somehow you're connected to that. So once you pulled your energy back, y'all going to see a lot of shit collapse. Okay? You're going to be looking around like, hold up, why did your business shut down? Did you block that person? Oh, okay. Did you stop entertaining something? I'm trying to tell you. You will start seeing people around you fall from grace very, very fast. Because what they was doing, they was using your energy to build whatever they was trying to build. And just FYI, okay, I want to say this. My nose is itching too when I'm getting ready to. Whoever took your inheritance, your money, and tried to build with somebody else, it's over. You're going to get confirmation. It's a hiccup in their plan. Because you caught, <clears throat> somebody's not only says, you called your energy back from these individuals, people, places, and things. That's why I said be clear when you call your energy back. Pay attention. Who was you connected to? Call your energy back from that certain workplace. Call your energy back from that certain family dynamic. Call your energy back from that certain ex-lover that you was dealing with. Call your energy back from that town that you was living in. Whatever it is, whatever your spirit's calling you, call your energy back and write that shit down. Release it back to the universe. Call your shit back and release it back. See what I'm saying? Then all of a sudden you start feeling better. Because you didn't realize that you had multiple people, places, and things in your energy and what they was doing. Oh, uh, okay. Because, see, you're starting to learn that your energy is priceless. Because y'all also, you know, like your, your money's currency, Right. What you put your money into, is it going to grow or is it going to fall, right? Very, very important. And that's what other people don't know, but you figured out. My, my, uh, my money is my currency. So wherever I place my money, just know you have good intentions. Say you help somebody. They took your money and they started building with somebody else. That's their karma. You did them a favor. You was doing something to be kind and help them out, right? Whatever the case may be. Collective, whenever that money got transferred over, your currency got transferred over, it's on them. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's why we say all money ain't good money. Because you got a lot of blood money running around here and everybody's trying to get it. And collective, you know whenever you get near some money that's kind of funny and don't feel right. So what do you do? You go give that money to somebody else. Go help somebody else. Pay it forward. And take all of that nastiness off and get it away from you. Mm-hmm. But you pass it on to a high vibrant source. You see? Mm-hmm. Yeah.
Yeah, I'm reading your comments here. What are we talking about here? You said that I know you. How do I know you? Hey, hey, what's going on? Somebody is sitting and pouting because they ain't got their Ace of Cups. But it's because they tried to cross you out to get their Ace of Cups. Something about this, y'all? Child... my ears itching whoever signed that contract 20 years ago they definitely are um in fear now now they're ready to surrender and they're making it they've already made their decision confirmation child tell me about this contract
Malibu, if you come through here, I think your Facebook is hacked. Because I just got a message. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> that was very strange. I think your Facebook is hacked. Yeah, something about this. Tell me your... Is that could be... Okay. Something about a 20-year contract. Somebody's figuring out that their... Uh, their computer... Something got hacked here. And y'all, something's about to be exposed here. Okay? And they are very worried they are over here trying to free their self from an unloving situation and there's some people that's finding this real funny because they know somebody is guilty here okay with this tell me about this 20 year contract here spirit what's what's going on with this 20 year contract somebody signed here I heard time's up. You got to tell the truth. Queen of Cups in reverse. Failure. I don't know. That, yeah. Y'all, this water energy is very heavy. I don't know. Somebody can have water very, very heavy in their, their chart. Tell me about the Queen of Cups in reverse. Somebody signed a contract 20 years ago to take power over somebody here, and now they're feeling like a failure. Uh. Excuse me. The chariot. Somebody's headed to jail here. And success is in reverse. Injustice is in reverse. And then you got fatality. Somebody here, and that's the truth. People is woke to what this person has done here. Trying to keep people blind, but people's got peace here. And they're still lying about something here. Possibly about a child. Why I feel like this is y'all's ex-lover, Divine Feminine? They got into a contract over 20 years ago, and now they finding out with something about a child. And, yeah, somebody's sitting over here in despair. I heard blackmail for the business. It's a completion of a cycle. Thank you, Spirit. Yep, because somebody was trying to gain wealth here. Yep, with the higher commitment. Come on through, Spirit. Yeah, somebody was over here. Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. Now somebody's eight of pentacles is in reverse. They feel like they're tied to something. Like, they can't get out. Ace of Pentacles. They invested a lot of money in the situation, too, with this heartless-ass person. Empress, you sitting over here, you already know this ain't somebody's Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands. You know they ain't getting no new beginning, either. And whatever these two people got into, child, it's about to come to light here. Star card in reverse. There's a message coming through, possibly from a, a, a Knight of Wands here. It's a change. Cutting the devil off, not taking a leap of faith. I heard everything is starting to make perfect sense here with the situation. About this this 20-year contract. My ears started hurting. Somebody getting some news that they don't want to hear. And then I got cold chills as I'm tapping into this energy. They don't, they don't want to hear this news either. They like, hold on, wait a minute, what? Y'all know that's what we got at the beginning of the reading. Something about some kind of payout here. Something about somebody had something taken care of. 
it's it's a surrounding a lot of money. I heard millions of dollars too. Or how somebody obtained this million. Now they're in fear. Mm, I heard the sex business. Y'all know where we're going with this. Y'all see the rock star. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of wealth obtained. Yeah. Y'all, this is in the energy right now, too. Mm hmm. I'm hearing something about the next 48 hours. Naughty Wands, King of Wands. Huge manhunt. Gonna be all over the news. It's gonna be live footage. Because these community of people is waking up. Mm, 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 mm. About these rats and their wish fulfillment and what they was doing. Mm -hmm. This is not a divine masculine. This is a distorted masculine. His mask is being ripped off. This could be a married man I'm talking about. He made lots of money in the sex industry. Mm, 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 mm. Karmic behavior and karmic ties are being exposed here. No unexpected income. Court's not going to go in this person's favor. Something is ending. Possibly got bad health, headed straight for poverty and prison. This person is trying to block messages about who they was nesting with, what they was doing behind the scenes here. Somebody also, their person could find out they had a hidden family. Man, look, adjudication and great fortune in reverse. Somebody don't know what to expect now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I heard, sir, you can't pay me off. Oh, child, listen, I got cold chills. Somebody was trying to pass that shoe box of money off, and they was like, uh-uh, this ain't how this works. No, you, you about to come here, we're going to need you to sit right over there. Confirmation. Yeah. We need you to go and sit right over there. Because all that money that you got, that, that ain't, yeah, that ain't even yours no more. Y'all, they could see somebody's assets here. Something very significant about that. Hmm. Yes, uh, Empress, you sure can. Um, it could be. Just uh, place the, the energy where it goes, but I'm just picking up on a man here about to be... He's in fear about to be exposed about some shit here. He, he's not sure. They're looking, definitely looking in how, how he obtained some type of great fortune and money here, though. Mm. Mountain Empress, I, I need you to be careful of the company you're keeping right now. I, I don't like that energy that's around you. A cousin, family member, somebody trying to ask you to do something, don't sign that paperwork. Don't go into business with them. There is something here. Uh-uh. No tell. Mm-mm. Now, ma'am, you came right on time, too. That's a bad, bad investment. I don't like it. It. 
Why I feel like this cousin, whoever this is, family, whatever, they're very jealous. You got this creativity that is just rocking, okay? Like, I'm, I'm telling you. Skinner, you, same thing. Don't be signing that music contract. That Don't sign that contract. Y'all got to remember, it's Mercury Retrograde. These people are coming in with some wonderful things. Check with your spirit team. No. Mm -mm. Check with your spirit team and see how uh, see what they got to say about that. And look, as I was going to say, I got 11 slots left for these uh, $33 specials. I'm telling you, that's the most high God stepping in letting you know, uh-uh, it ain't no good. Dirty, gone, grimy ass contracts, they trying to get you in there. We just, I just pulled a spread, that's what's so crazy. Also, Mountain Empress, I'm gonna tell you something else. Yes, she's trying to take your idea. She wants to know what your, your vision board is. She wants to know what your vision is so she can go do it, okay? Mm -mm. Yes. Mm. Rashawn? Okay. That paper they're trying to get you to sign, that's signing over something. If that has something to do with your family... Dividing things up, you need to take that to um, a lawyer and have them to look over it. Don't sign it. Now, let me tell you something. It might cause a fight because you ain't going to sign it. That right there is going to be your indication that somebody being sneaky. Oh, no, we don't need to have nobody look over this. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, you do. Yes, you do. And that make my head itch, I'm telling you. Uh, Mountain Empress, uh, PayPal or Cash App? Where are you sending it over to, babe? But, yeah. That's right. Mm-hmm. Okay, babies. Put you down on the list here. Like, I, I'm telling y'all, listen, y'all got to pay close attention to this fuckery they're trying to come in with. Because, man, listen. Mm -mm. Uh, yeah, uh-huh. Because, see, they're trying to seven and sword you. And they don't care what they're doing because they're, there's something here to be... Yeah. I heard blood money to be obtained here. Because whatever they're wanting you to sign off on, they stole the money from the beginning. They caused an ending, okay? Like, they put seven swords in somebody to cause the ending anyways. They was cold-hearted, but they didn't realize they needed you to get to it. That It's this child, and it's a completion of a cycle. And then you got the moon in reverse. Because they knew that they just had everything worked out. But they lying ass is still over here. Lying. They are, mm, my nose is itching. It's that energy. They thought they was going to get to that account. But that account's got your name on it. Talking about signing shit. No, bitch. We ain't signing nothing. What you say, sis? We ain't signing nothing. 
I ain't doing none of that. Mm-hmm. And see, that's the thing. They they opened up these cans of, of damn worms and Pandora's boxes when they go and do this shit. But then when you find out, all of a sudden, you're the problem. And it's like, oh, you wasn't supposed to find out about that. What do you mean? Blah, 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 blah. Did you not think they was going to call me eventually and I wasn't going, they weren't going to reach out to me? Like, what, what's happening here? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's what you got to do, though. And y'all know what's, what's so wild about all of this is, and I'm going to say most of the collective, most of you guys don't even give a fuck about the inheritance that was. And as I said that, my, my chat reconnected. That's why. Because you reconnected to yourself. You knew that you was going to have your abundant life. Physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and financially. Because you was going with your spirit team. And that's the thing. Is they were so stressed out over here about covering things up, you wasn't even worried about it. Because nine times out of ten, half of us didn't even know nothing about the shit. Okay. Didn't know nothing about it. Exactly right. That empty burdenness is giving me everybody's leaving because they know how somebody obtained something. They like, man, I don't want no part of that. Y'all, some about this damn Virgo in reverse energy. It ain't no good. And this fucking Knight of Cups. I heard the two seducers. This could be a Virgo man and a uh, water sign man. Something about overindulging. Both of these men are womenizers, the seducers for wealth. And now it's in reverse. Eight of Pentacles is in reverse. Because collective, you took your power back. Okay, y'all, FYI, I'm just going to say this. One of these men dresses like women, and this is about to be found out. There is somebody here that is actually a man, but they dress like a woman. They possibly had surgery. This Herman in reverse. It could be a Virgo. Uh, they're about to find out. Somebody here is headed. One fifty-five. as I say that. I've been out here an hour and 55 minutes. Somebody's not who they appear to be. And the world is about to find this out. Somebody could have had a work doing like 20 plus years ago. And they doing this to gain power. 
and to gain wealth. Very interesting. Wow. Y'all, this could be something about some messages. My nose is itching. Something could be revealed about this person and nobody knew the ins and outs. And like, there is somebody that, okay, blackmail. Thank you, Spirit. Somebody could actually be blackmailing somebody for this. And yeah. Y'all remember, shit, what a year, a couple years ago, maybe a year or two ago, I was picking up on like, <clears throat> excuse me, somebody had a sex change, right? And they had free will. They told somebody who they was. And somebody did, is being blackmailed here. No, nope, but actually does just the opposite. If you gaze at the eclipse, pull some of that energy. It's just the opposite. They just want you to think that that's what happened. The eclipse energy is actually good. Go do your research. Mm -hmm. That solar eclipse is going to power you up. What's up, babies? There was a young lady that um, I come across on Facebook. She was talking about it. She said, I was told that, you know, uh, we wasn't supposed to, you know, Witnessed the, the solar eclipse on the 8th and blah, blah, blah. You know, she threw some stuff out there. But fast forward, right? She said, you're going to gain more energy off of it. Off of it. She said, so go outside and suck up the solar energy. She was like, I'm finding out that somebody I was following was feeding false information to the, you know, to people about the solar eclipse. So, yeah. Go to a trusted source that you know that uh, is telling the truth. You know, because that's what she was saying. She was like, I was so misguided. I did not know that I could actually use this energy and, you know, utilize it. And it would help me. Yeah. But see, they want us to stay in a very unbalanced energy. And I'm going to say this. Some, she was like, some people are being paid to put out false information to keep us from moving forward. Spiritual savage. Oh, okay. He got his solar eclipse glasses. Oh, okay. Didn't we have a solar eclipse seven years ago? See, Emily, that's what I'm telling you. That's false information, baby. Honey, the demons are already out there. What do you mean they're letting them out? These motherfuckers is over here walking every single day. 
You're encountering demons everywhere you go, darling. But that's a good one, though, that they use. You said they're letting the demons out of purgatory. Them motherfuckers listen. I'm just telling you. Yes. I just, I always go do my own research. And I don't never teach about something that, I, that you can't go find and go read up on. But we got people out here giving false information because they don't want you to go out there and utilize that energy. That's like whenever they put that frequency out. They knew what they was doing to people. People did not, and, and they did the frequency during times where people would be on computers, at work, and all types of shit. Um, but see, they think the shit's funny because they make sure that you don't have no peace. Do you see how you said, oh, well, I'm, I'm not going to go out there. They're fear monging. They're keeping you in the house. Uh, okay. Surrender that and surrender whoever this fake ass person is giving you this information because they're in denial. Make sure that you're speaking with them. Also, listen, that's something else you know I've been talking about. Make sure you're calling on your beloved ancestors angels and things like that and not just ancestors okay pay it be careful okay emily because you could be tapping into something because you got there is a such thing as trickster spirits too baby girl okay so just be careful with tapping into certain things yeah Malibu, honey. Uh, somebody's hacked your uh your Facebook. Okay. That's what I'm telling you, sis. You gotta be careful. Uh, cause these trickster spirits, that's the demons we've been talking about. That talking about they letting them out of purgatory. No, they ain't. They ain't letting the demons out of purgatory. Shit. These demons are being eclipsed out of our life. Yeah, somebody sent me a message about my heart appointment through your uh, messenger. <laughs> I listen, I'm trying to tell you, Malibu. Uh, yeah. Told me that my heart rate wasn't what it was supposed to. It's a little better, but then I need to come in for my appointment. <laughs> I'm like, hold up, Malibu. When did you become my doctor, sis? Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, okay. <clears throat> I already knew. I was on here. I was like, oh, shit. And look, you heard me calling you. You came. You was like, all right. That's all I'm saying. Y'all just pay attention. You heard what? Listen now, spiritual sav. Savage said a mouthful. That's why I like, I always tell you guys, right? If there is something that I was talking about and you have more information on it, please share it. So, because we're all here on the journey and we're learning together. Oh, Okay. I hope everything went well for you. I feel like it did. But then I got like a little stress feeling in my neck here. It's almost like this fucking doctor stretching, stressing you out, Malibu. Or somebody stressed out in here because we're talking about this. One, one, one. It's a new beginning. New energy's coming. Everything. Y'all know these solar eclipses are very important. You want all that shit gone and out. That's why we try to prepare weeks ahead of time. To cleanse this shit out. Move everything around your house. Do an overhaul of the damn house. The office. Whatever. Open the doors. The windows. Get rid of the shit that you don't need. 
People, places, and things. Carry the trash out, right? That's why we get ready for this. Oh, you're okay? What's going on, babies? But yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, we prepare for this. So we don't have to. So whenever everybody else is getting like into this energy and trying to cleanse everything out and running around, we sitting back and chilling with our feet up because we already know we've done that work, right? They say that's why they say this this healing and spiritual journey is not for the weak. You got to be willing to put in the work. You got to be willing to accept things for what they are and not what you want them to be. And keep moving. Because everybody can't go with you. But you got to go. And until people start to understand that, they're going to stay stuck in these, these karmic cycles. Yeah. It takes hella strength, okay? Hella strength. Wow, that's going to triple. Hmm. Right. Yeah, since you already know what's up, you done been here with me for a while. Yeah, it's a fake ass lover coming here with the uh with this higher commitment. And that's just because they need your resources. Something about that. Y'all I'll be right back. Just give me just a minute, okay? I'm about to go out here and finish smoking my cigarette real quick. Uh Mountain Empress, where'd you go? What's up? Sarah, where are you at? I'm looking for you too. Three years strong, baby. Listen, now we keep pushing. Okay, okay. You said a mouthful. That's how it is, too. Miranda, what? <laughs> What happened? The circle's a dot now, ain't it? I'm just saying. Mm. Literally, it's a dot. And it's so crazy because it was like, when you first get on here, you're like, man, it's going to be cool. You know what I'm saying? You already know. Now look at this. It's like, what the fuck happened? Shit. Everybody showed their hand for free. Ulterior motives were shown. Different things like that. Because, see, once you start cleansing out the energy and picking up on what's going on, let me tell you something. Motherfuckers will start acting funny and moving away from you and all types of shit. And you like, what? Hold on. Y'all, remember? I remember whenever I first met Miranda um she was dealing with some very very malicious uh people malice they just doing horrible things and they took advantage of the fact of her being young and new to spirituality and things like this and um I remember the first day I encountered her Okay. I looked at her. I said, child, uh-uh. This, this ain't, you ain't right. You're not walking the right path. I, I was, ain't nothing come up yet, baby. I don't know. I was waiting on you to come back. That's why I was fixing to go smoke. I'm like, where you at? I got uh, 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 somebody else too. I can't find her either. I guess y'all come back through because I'm going to come back tonight anyway, so. 
But let me, I'm gonna let me go back over here and see. But yeah, she was uh well, it should have came through my PayPal. Okay. Yes, they was. They was trying to literally introduce her to dark magic, y'all. And it was like, whoa, hold on, what? No, 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 you, no, you can't do that. But y'all, she was so young, she didn't understand what these people was trying to introduce her to. You see what I'm saying? And um, yeah, three years later, little baby doing what she needs to do. But it was, it was them trying to pull her to the dark side. Yep, there it is. Yep. And then also, uh, it was uh, a situation where one of the people was using the twin flame journey to groom her. Spiritual OG. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And trying to drain her of all her money. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Oh, she's being spiritually groomed. Oh, wow. Well. Yeah. But y'all know, listen, Miranda is a damn Sagittarius, first of all. That's the most spiritual being of the damn Zodiac. She's really feisty. She's non-committal, so they couldn't make her commit to nothing, right? Her little feisty ass, and she's young. So that's the thing. It was so funny because I'm like, y'all realize y'all ain't tricking her. You think that you're tricking her, but you ain't, you're not tricking her. Because she's not falling for what you thought she was going to fall for. Because her spirit wasn't going to let her. Because I remember there for a minute, like, she would hit me up. She'd be like, this don't make no sense to me. That that don't that don't sound right, Vision Goddess. I said, because, baby, it ain't right. These hoes got a complex, okay? Okay, I'm going through my email, sis, and Sis, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I checked the damn email. It might have kicked it out. I don't know. It didn't come through, though. Hold on one second. I'll be right back, y'all.
All right, guys. Thank you for being patient. There was a uh, something going on out there. I don't know if that was a high speed chase or what it was, but yeah. Okay. Whew. I got cold chills. Somebody's been worn too. Yes, ma'am, I'm here. What's up, honey? Okay. I'm going to go back and see if it's posted in my email. Yeah, I was uh, out my back door and I heard him. Mm. Okay. Okay. All right, let's see here. Oh, goodness. Mountain Empress, you definitely need to trust your intuition, okay? Um, I'm sure the pavement, uh, let's see. What's your, uh, what is your, um, your PayPal? And I'll request it. And we'll just try to do it like that. And see if it'll come through. Is it Mountain Empress at Mountain Empress? Okay, that's what's up. Mind, body, and soul, okay? Got to tap in. Yeah, don't accept whatever this is and, and stay focused on your success because something is about to change here. Stay disciplined, okay? And have courage that everything is going to work out for you. And don't have any doubts, that's for sure. 
Because, see, you got peace and somebody, they, they can't untie their self from something. They don't have no freedom. Oh. I knew I dropped a card. Hold on. Oh. Yep, and be a service. we got for empress here okay you better know it baby because somebody's feeling like a failure because they can't get you tied into something well, tell me about this boutique is that what somebody's wanting you to to do is work at a boutique or help them open up this something about clothes design Somebody's trying to steal your work and they're trying to do this, okay? Do you design clothes and stuff in the beauty industry? Something about that? Because it's like somebody's trying to swoop in and take your idea. Mountain Empress, what is your uh your PayPal uh tag? And we'll try to go from there. I don't know what's happened here. It's not showing up in my email either. See, somebody's having issues. Something about, you know, maybe even transferring something over. Like I said, there is something here. That it's it's just not it's not good energy and they need access to whatever you got going on here to build whatever time whatever type of brand they're trying to build but they need your idea something very significant about that oh we Y'all just gonna have to cleanse this energy. Somebody's tired. Mm.
Okay. Mm. They can try, but they'll never succeed. Somebody's very disappointed. No, baby, I'm refreshing, trying to find it. What is your uh, PayPal um, name? And I'll just type that in. Is it at uh, Mountain Empress? Not sure. I'm talking to Mountain Empress, uh, Roberto. Okay. Let's see what we got here, Miss Tammy. Okay. Ooh, my ears is ringing. Yeah, and it should have came straight through to my PayPal, but it didn't. So, I don't know. That's weird. It's okay. Yeah, it's not even pulling up that name in, in PayPal payment at all. I don't know. Yeah, check on your end and see. Put at Vision Goddess 1983. That could be why it ain't, it ain't, something's not working here. But I pulled up your tag name and it's not pulling nothing up there either. Yeah, that's what I said. I told her, yeah. You just need to make sure you're following your intuition. Because, see, there, there could be something about money. You see how money's not transferring? You could have cut somebody off, and now they don't know what to do. They was expecting some kind of something here. Oh, okay, that's why it didn't go through to me. It's a uh, vision at Vision Goddess 1983. It's not it's not under Sherry West. It's under my business name. This is what my profile looks like, okay? Let me pull it up for you.
It's under Sherry Holland. Oh. Y'all, we've been out here two hours and 38 minutes, babies. Listen now. Ringing like crazy. Okay, Spirit, what's this? Yeah. You spent it, you sent it to Sherry Holland and with that email address. Hmm. Uh go over to my inbox. Uh Sherry West on Messenger. I don't know. Nothing came through. Because this should have came straight to me. Yeah. See, that's what I'm saying. That it wasn't. Yeah. Do you not have the PayPal app? Because if you have the PayPal app, you could just type my name in there. And it'll... Uh... Oh, okay. 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 Uh, Mount Empress. Tab uh, paid for you. Thank you, Tabitha. That is very, very sweet of you. Support. All right, there we go now. Cleaning the trash out. Cleaning the trash out. Tell me what's going on. Yeah, higher powers is stepping in here, sis. And they know that you're accepting responsibility. And that's the main thing here. Like I said, you don't get caught up on, on whatever this cousin is trying to do. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, this cousin here is doing uh, some kind of 
money ritual, trying to keep you from getting to whatever it is. That's why I said something about your brand. What's up, Scorpio? And that's really, really important, right? You want to be careful with sharing your ideas because this is your new beginning. And like I said from the beginning, and it's no, it's, it's, it's not no coincidence that you was having issues sending the payment over, right? Because they want you to keep having them type of money problems. They want you to stay focused and take this risk on yourself and set these boundaries, okay? Like I said, whatever it is that you're working on, I don't need you to share these ideas. There is something very significant. Spirit, spirit keeps on stressing that. Do not share your ideas, okay? Because you got protection around you, dog. We got here. Yep, keep keep cleansing this out because let me tell you something. These people here, they have not done their shadow work at all. They just want to come in and steal what you have and um utilize off of you. Why well, I just got mobily mobilize, and that's the truth. They're trying to come in, get your ideas, and travel away with them. Stay in your integrity, though, okay? Because you do got a lot of support around you. You could be seeing all of these signs and synchronicities. Thank you, babies. I appreciate that. And be patient. Cut your losses with these family members and don't get caught up in that and, and stay clear from that drama. That's what I was saying yesterday. Embrace these uncertainties that are about to happen here as well. And have courage as all this is being eclipsed out of your life. Because they're definitely worried. No, it's okay. Tab already paid for you. It's okay. I just need you to go back and, and listen to your reading, baby. Tab's already paid for you. See, this uh, Knight of Swords energy, right? This is people trying to rush in because they know that they don't have no options here with that Seven of Cups in reverse. Mm -hmm. And you're using your intuition with this Queen of, Queen of Cups here. Because these people are unhealed and there's a lot of towers coming here, especially with them coming in trying to steal your ideas. They thought that you was going to be gullible and just fall for this. And like I said, trying to get the sudden wealth off of your idea. This could be a married couple that's doing this to you, okay? I'm telling you, yeah, this could be a married couple. But you're a woman. She can't move to calmer waters either. Because she keeps on bringing these storms and trying to do something. This fox-ass energy, sis. Taking a risk. The thief trying to come in and steal what's yours. Oh, goodness. It could be up to four people in your family that's doing something here. They want this, this, this creativity, this knowledge, this brand, whatever you're trying to build. And they're causing a lot of towers in their own life, baby girl. Okay. Like when you came in the room... Like instantly, I got that off of you. Like, don't don't take none of these offers here, okay?
Yep. All right, so family, listen, I'm going to take a break. I've still got um, 11 slots open for the $33 special, okay? I'll be back in just a little bit. I'm going to go and eat something and take a nap, okay, and get and rejuvenate and get my energy back. Yeah, um, so we're at a stopping point right now, but I will be back in just a little while. It's uh, 3.58 where I'm at, so... Yeah, I got to go uh, rejuvenate, y'all. And I will be back. Yeah, somebody's sitting in here and they ain't been asleep in about three days. I don't know what's up. Uh, but yeah, somebody ain't been sleeping and their energy's like dragging me down right now. Yeah, I'll see y'all in just a little while, okay? I just want to send everybody some... Uh... Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, but I just want to send everybody some love, light, and healing, and I will be back in a little while. Peace, love, and light. Thank you, guys.